things for you in the last five matches here on quarterfinals day. And the first of those is Jonko and Kidron from Thailand up against the former world champions Huki and Kobayashi. So as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, something rather rare has happened here at the India Open because you can see that there's eight different flags next to the eight pairs. And I can tell you it's only the third time in the history of the Super Series Grand Prix Gold and World Tour that that has happened. That's the only the third time eight different flags at quarterfinal stage in the men's doubles in 374 tournaments. That's incredible. So the surprise package, I think, in quarterfinal stage, all other pairs are seeded apart from this pair of Supak Jonko and Kirin Nubong Kedrin. Because they defeated the world number ones and the defending champions late yesterday evening to book their place in a first ever quarter final at Super 750 level. So, the most extraordinary uh, lineup at quarter final stage in the men's doubles, and the biggest surprise of all, that pair from Thailand. So to the former world champions. And this is Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. Looking to reach a second semi-final in consecutive weeks because they were semi-finalists last week at the Malaysian Open, a Super 1000 event. Actually been in two world championship finals in Basel. And they were silver medalists and then at the next world championships in Welva in 2021 they turned silver into gold so this is a third meeting between these two pairs and both previous meetings had been won by the Japanese pair the last time they met was in the first round of the China Super 1000 last year and uh, the Thai pair only managed to win a total of 14 points yep. and to say they were Chip outclassed the red, last time black, they played black, black. is a bit of an red understatement red service you so i believe that the Inside. tie combination have won the toss of the coin and have chosen to you. serve and the japanese left and right handed combination have asked to start the near side of the court as we will look down during one of the rallies. <laughs> so there's no doubting the left and right handed uh, credentials, uh, but let's look a little bit further the pair from Thailand. This is Supak Donko. He's 27 years of age and in fact, ironically, they went down two places on the world ranking that was published uh, three days ago. Uh, they have been as high as 21, one precious week from the end of October in 2022. Second consecutive appearance as a pair here at the India Open. They lost in the second round last year. And as far as his partner is concerned, there he is, Kitty Nupon Kedrin, also 27 years of age from Songkla in southern Thailand. Well, last year uh, they didn't have the best uh, of years. They had one semi final, that was the Thailand Masters, their home event. And apart from that, they had 19 first or second round losses. So this is a huge leap forward for John Colt and Kedrin. Well, as far as their matches are concerned so far in the tournament, in the first round, they had three games against the European Championship silver medalist, Dunn and Hall. And then, as I was telling you, yesterday beat the current world number ones and the defending champions, Liang Wei Keng and Huang Chan, again in three games. 
So to the former world champions and former world number Ready one, Mr. Koro Hoki. He's 28 years of age from Yamaguchi. They went up one place in the world ranking after their semi-final last week in Malaysia, up to number six, but did spend a total of 14 weeks as world number ones. Yugo Kobayashi is also 28 years of age from Miyagi Prefecture. And as far as they were concerned, three finals last year, winning one, the Singapore Open. Now, in the first two rounds, uh, they've played against a pair promoted from the reserve list, uh, Christo and Toma Junior Popov, who replaced Ong Yu Sin and Tiu Yi, and then beat the Hello. Olympic champions and winners here at the yeah. India Open in 2019, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin. Sudip Bave of India is our umpire for this one. And the service judge also from India, Anand Joshi. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yugo Kobayashi and Takuro Hoki, Japan. And on my left, Supak Jamko and Kitin Pong, Kedren, Thailand. Kitin Pong, Kedren to serve to Yugo Kobayashi. Lawo, play. So the umpire calls the start of this quarter-final to get underway. The first of our men's doubles on this court today. Service over, one luck. Steen, you and I were discussing over breakfast uh, Two, the love. fact that the Thai combination have uh, beat the number one seeds and defending champions in last night's match. And I know that you sat down and re-watched it because we didn't actually see it live because our commentary duties had finished for the day. We didn't see it live and I was a bit surprised because I saw uh, Ketron and um, Jomko in um, Malaysia and... They didn't really impress me, so I, I needed to see how on earth did they beat the one, number ones. And the answer is? Yeah, they, they played a really, really um, clever game. They played, um, in my opinion, they played much better Seven on the near side of the court here, yet they didn't uh, choose end, one, which is two. a bit odd to me. Um, but they... Um, they dominated those um, um, games where they, where they played near the camera here and uh, they basically took out Wang Chang when he was at the front court. They, uh, they totally uh, took him out of the game. They uh, would happily lift so to him if he was at the back court. Three, one. And um, otherwise uh, they would um, move Liang Wei Kong from side to side. And the playing conditions here helped the uh, Thai defense the way I saw it and, and took a bit of the sting off of the um, you know, Kung's smash and, and almost all of the sting out of Wang Chang's. So suddenly it became speed of movement. That was um, the deciding factor. That's very interesting. It's absolutely fascinating in fact, Steen, because, you know, when you said they took one Chang out of the game, yeah. we, we believe that he is one of the best front court yeah. players in the men's doubles discipline. And I've seen numerous world-class pairs, and by that I mean top eight ranked pairs, who don't know how to take him out of yes. the game. So all credit to the Thai yeah. pair for doing so. And that was by, by lifting flat to uh, Liang Wei Kong. And 5-1. Uh, playing drive defences, or high defences, or playing uh, back in straight lines. So it was difficult for Wang Chang to get to it. I, I must say that 
I felt the Chinese pair was a little bit lackluster in the first game. They weren't really ready, perhaps underestimated the, the Thai combination a little bit. And uh, they paid the price for that. Yeah. And when I checked their Six, uh, results, um, I noticed that they were quite close to beating Baines, Astrid and Rasmussen in French Open. A tournament that Baines went on to win. That was uh, 2019 in the third game, so they can be really dangerous. I just saw them in, Thai in, in Malaysia and were really surprised of the over. result because they didn't play well in that tournament. Two, six. No, in fact, I think we both called that match. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely backhand from Yomko. Three, six, change. Look at that. Power generated with virtually no backswing. Deception, but um, Seven a little lack in execution. Seven, three. Oh, I got a vicious deflection by hitting the top of the tape. That's a from John Cole. Seven. Okay. All the pressure is on the Japanese pair, isn't it, Steam? Because they will see this as a great opportunity and, and everybody's expecting them to win. Exactly, and they, Four, they must seven. have been happy yesterday seeing that uh, it wasn't um, the pair that they lost to last week that they were playing tonight. Yeah. Service uh, over. That's one thing, though. The, uh, Eight, the Thai pair four. is uh, playing for Olympic qualification and they're currently 14th of the 16 pair that's qualified and um, I think the win here puts them uh, up again uh, past uh, the uh, number 12 pair or something like that so any point they could score extra here would Nine, help them reach uh, Paris uh, 2024 so I don't know if that plays on the mind of them oh that's a good shot from Hokey. Ten, four. Oh, well, there was indecision 11, from Kobayashi on his forehand side whether he should play it or not. Chose to play it. And then played uh, defensive shots across court for an outright winner. Not the tallest of athletes, John uh, Kedrin, the five foot four. And it's a seven point advantage for the number seven seeds, Hoki and Kobayashi. Court one. 20 seconds. Good one. 20 seconds. Eleven four. Play. So eleven four. The advantage to the former world champions and former world number ones. Third appearance for the Japanese pair here at the India Open. And it's 12, the first time four. they've got beyond the second round. Oh, that's a good 
shot. And Kobayashi, and even though uh, from a Thai perspective they're playing the uh, non-preferred side right now, um, I still think it's significant that uh, the Japanese pair is constructed the same way as the Chinese pair they beat yesterday with a really strong front court player. But Yugo Kobayashi is uh, more um, four, creative three, in four. his attack, he relies on the steep attack, not so much the bruise and force like we've seen uh, when they come do, so he's a more creative backcourt player, and I think that's going to create problems for the tie pair in uh, in this match. 15, four. Well, it's very one-sided at the moment, all in favour of Oki and Kobayashi. Four. Yeah. 16-4. I suspect there must be something in the styles as well, Steen, because uh, both previous encounters between these two pairs, two straight games, and as I was saying a little earlier, only 14 points scored in total by the time combination the last time they met. Yeah, good, good um, technical skills from both opponent both Koki and Kobayashi and a good eye for the game so when they're playing uh, at their best it's difficult Service for the ties then uh, the Five, lack of reach and firepower um, becomes a problem the way I see it Six, seventeen. but still nine and five that's not a lot of what normally uh, players take the foot off the pedal a little bit when they're uh, have a great lead Oi, Hoki, he ran into the uh, service measurement uh, service aggregate there. Eighteen six. Nice drop, wasn't it? A lovely change of pace. Stayed his side. Six. So just two points away from the open game. This match has only been in progress, 10 minutes. Oh, my wow. goodness, that's wild. I simply don't understand Service that over. Kedron and uh, Seven. Jonko did not choose 19. to start on the near end here, where they got off to a flying start yesterday, hoping to do the same. Now they've been outplayed in the first game, so the worst self-confidence is gone, I would expect. Uh, I realised that they could finish on the better end, Service but uh, still, it's possible. 20. Game yeah. point seven. Yeah, I agree with you, Steen. Whole host of game point opportunities. Oh dear. That's so a so service error. Eight twenty. Loki is the only player so far who hasn't made a service error. Beautiful play. So game. the opening game, twenty-one eight. First game. One by in favor of Hoki the former and world number one Yugo Kobayashi. And world Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. เอ๊ะเกมสเตอร์ไม่ได้ไม่ได้แต่งไม่ได้แต่งไม่ได้เกี่ยวกับแต่งไม่ได้แต่งมันเกี่ยวกับนี่เปลี่ยนทางตลอ
เสิร์ฟรับเสิร์ฟทำอะไรลูกหนึ่งเสิร์ฟลูกสองรับลูกเสิร์ฟลูกสามทำอะไรเองเอาจะเอาไปมุมไหนก็ไหนเอาขึ้นไปได้เลยเข้าใจป่ะจำได้ไหมจำได้ไหม Good one. Twenty seconds. Second game. Lowell. Play. Well, I wish I knew what Tasana Pandistas, the Thailand coach, had said to his players. Somehow, he's got to give them a bit of self-belief. Yeah. But the point you made before the change of ends, Steen, after his first game, about why wouldn't you want to get off to a good start when you're the underdogs? Put pressure on your opponents. Um, clearly, the opponents underestimated them yesterday. Oh. Oh. One low. Too flat, it's gone long of the back line. Two long. I suppose there's also a danger for the Thai combination, Steen, that when you've had a, a wonderful win beating the world number ones, there's a bit of a reaction to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you um, are basically not done celebrating yet. Yeah, exactly. Because after any high, the laws of physics says there's got to be a trough. Yeah. Love. But, but looking at their body language now, you'd have to wonder how on earth did they get here? Yeah. Because you can't see that they've just beaten world number one. No. And last week's champions, yeah. of course. And, and uh, I mean, Jungkook hits a nice smash, but but Ketrin is not a hard hitter, so he needs this um, uh, rift alongside the court in his back to uh, to become a danger which he so, so wasn't at all in the first game. And I just One, refuse three. to believe that losing the first game to eight does not affect your self-confidence. No, I agree. Off the Thailand pair. No, not Quite at all. Yet. Not at all. We've seen some extraordinary comebacks in uh, yeah. the earlier matches. Kim Won Ho and Jong Nam, they were down 12 4 and 15 7 in the decider. Came back to win it. Three, four. Take a look at Kedron, who's shadowing Jonko. 
leaving a huge gap on the other side of the court. Seven, three. Good return of serve, I like that. So He's so certainly got lovely four, skills, and you don't go eight. winning gold medals at World Junior Championships unless you've got good skills. Hidden won the women's doubles at the 2014 World Junior Championships with a certain Mr. Dichpon Poivre and Five, Mucro, who we saw in the very first match of the day. Yeah, a thrill of a match, and uh, he's also quick on his feet. Yeah. Poivre and Mucro, and uh, yesterday, Ketlin showed exactly how that could be done. And they won the World Junior Championships. A little... Uh, Slow Service playing conditions. Nine, five. And, uh, getting some confidence, moving on. Playing overhead shots on a lot of the flat game uh, shots. That's when uh, you can use your sort of lack of reach to your advantage. Oh, oh. my goodness. Had that have landed in? That Ten, would have been a shot of five. the day. And it was just wide with a eye whisker. Take a look at this skill. Look at that. So to the mid-game interval. Five and it's all one-way traffic at the moment, and it's all in favour of Hoki and Kobayashi. 11-5 the advantage in the second game, having already won the first. ไอ้เงี้ยเอาเตรียมไอ้ตีเลยยิงเตรียมยิงวุ่นวายจัดเลยเข้าใจมั้ยเปล่าไอ้ที่เสียคือจะนู่นจะนี่จะนั่นอย
not relying on, on physical power, but on, on skills and steepness. So he perhaps has a better um, uh, impact in, um, in slow playing conditions where others relying more on, on power are, are having difficulties killing their shots. Yeah. So uh, I can't uh, give an exact uh, answer or an educated answer. I can just say there's factors that so point so in so different directions the way I six. see it. Yeah. 16. Yeah, change. Over. 17 6 but one, once again the Japanese pair 18, have not taken six. the foot off the pedal they they have um, somehow uh, learned their lesson yesterday or or previously that uh, you should not let your guard down against this uh, type here. Service over, 7, 18. Well, 15 points. Uh, That's better than last time. It's better than last time. comes up on mid-court area and plays um, creative shots as well from the front court. I thought last week he played exceptionally well yes. as well. Kobayashi. Two points away from the second consecutive semi-final in two weeks. Service over. Nine. 19. Yeah. Van Viswas looks a bit forlorn. That's wide. But it's surely Ten. too little, too late. 19. Uh, there's, there's been no indications that uh, they should be able to come back, Kevin and uh, John Cole. opportunities 20 match point 10 10 of them to be precise and tell him her should be very happy with his players today in just a little over 27 minutes. Two straight games in favour of Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. 21-8, oh, 21-10. Match won by Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. 21-8, 21-10. Well, I'm 
pretty certain nobody will be more disappointed than the Thai pair themselves. 27 minutes. 21-8, 21-10. And the former world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi, through to the semi-final. Welcome back to the Indira Gandhi Sports Complex for quarterfinals day here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. Well, next up is the last of the women's singles quarterfinals. The other three have been decided. This match features the Olympic champion Chen Fei of China up against the former world champion Nozomi Okuhara. Well, as far as the women's singles draw is concerned, uh, by quarterfinal stage, we only had four seeds, only one in the bottom half of the draw. Mind you, we only started with three seeds in the bottom half. We had uh, three uh, players who had contested the final of the India Open at quarterfinal stage. Anse Se Young, Herbing Zhao, who had been beaten in the final in 2019, and the 2022 winner, Busanan Ongbang Orangpan. But all of those players have lost, so we are guaranteed a new name on the India Open Women's Singles Trophy. Nozomi Okuhara, how lovely to see her back on the world stage. She finished last year in ex 